Welcome to the second Edinburgh Entries. I'm just gonna vlog today and show you guys what I'm up to. Obviously New Year. I'm just really excited for these videos. So I have a few things on today. Basically how everything's being run here is that if it's more than 50 people, it's online. And if it's less than 50, it's in person. My lectures are online because my courses are like reasonably big. My tutorials are in person. So I have a tutorial on Friday this week, but that's literally all I have. I had a lecture yesterday, which was just like a welcome lecture, um, which was quite nice actually to like go in and like see people. It was really nice. And I haven't been in a lecture theater since the day that uni like closed in 2020, like March. So that was really quite weird. I'm trying to make a bit of a commitment to not work in the flat and just like get out, go to the library. I don't live too far away from it. So it's really like I have no excuse or even just go to a cafe or something. I'm just trying to make that like separation. Plan is to like do uni work and stuff out and then maybe do like some editing and stuff here because I find that a lot more like chill and relaxing. I'm sure I'll end up doing work here as well, but while I can, trying to give myself those like separate locations. So we're going to the library today. It's back at full capacity, which is weird because like you walk in and there's just like a sea of people. I don't know, the energy in the library is a mix of stressful because you're like, everyone's doing so much work, I should be doing more. But it's also like a little bit motivating because you know that everyone's there to do work and I feel like I can't just like open a new tab and watch a YouTube video, you know? So it kind of keeps you accountable. Also, I got my nose pierced. <laughs> I was thinking about doing it for like two weeks and Neve also wanted her like some piercings in her ears. I'm really happy with it. I think it looks nice. I was worried before I did it. I was like, this might change. I had in my head that this was going to change like my entire face and I was going to look completely different. I don't know why I thought that because it's literally the smallest thing ever. I walked out and I was like, oh, it just looked like me with a nose ring, which obviously makes sense, but I think it's cute. I went to Tribe in Edinburgh, if you're wondering, and it was £10, so really good price, I thought. I told my mum, like, after I'd got it done, I was like, oh, I just got my nose pierced. And then she sent me a picture of her when she had her nose pierced when she was younger. And everyone that I've shown it to, like my friends and stuff, have said that we look so similar. So I'll put it on the screen. She's probably gonna hate that I'm doing that, but I think she looks great. Changed my sheets this morning. I'm reading Beautiful World, Where Are You? by Sally Rooney. I've heard so many mixed reviews. I feel like because she's such an acclaimed author, people are like quick to jump on like hating on something. Like, do you get what I mean? Once someone is successful, we all seem to like look for a reason not to like their stuff. And often I feel like the critique of her work is, is kind of like the point of it. Oh, there's no plot or like, the characters are unlikable and it's like is that not the point or like in normal people they don't communicate and it's like that's the point of the book no 
it's not a simple basic like love story novel where everything ends happy and that's kind of you have to go in knowing that that's not how she writes i'm really liking it so far my friend read it and said she would 10 out of 10 not recommend. I'd say I like it. I'm only like 110 pages in. Enjoying it so far. I would say that so far I preferred the other two books. But still really like it. And it's a beautiful cover. So yeah. And then I think this was last week. I finished Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reid. I really, really liked this book. I rate this very highly. Maybe like a 4.5. I wouldn't give it a 5 just because it had a lot of like great messaging and stuff. But I didn't get that feeling at the end of the book where you're like wow that message like really hit home and it's got a lot of it has got a lot of like great messaging and i like that it's it explores like actually a lot of issues and topics within fiction which i think is quite impressive because it doesn't feel like you're exploring them it's a lot about like race fetishes just like being in your 20s and like the job market and like having a purpose friendships relationships like i thought it covered like a lot i really enjoyed the storyline it was very readable and very like page turning but i would say it's not like it's not my favorite book i've ever read but i really did i did really like it i'd, I'd give it top 10 to be honest so i am also watching um squid game at the moment really liking that i watched neve went home last night so it's just me on my own i just sat on the sofa and watched four episodes of it back to back and I'm not gonna lie, I think I'm just gonna watch some more now. Like, I was like, oh, I should do work this morning. But I was like, no, I don't wanna do any work this morning. So I think I'm gonna go sit on the sofa and watch that. And then I'm going to the library in a bit. But I really, really like it. It's very interesting. I've never watched, I probably watched some things, but I've never watched like a show. So like, obviously it's in Korean and then you have like the subtitles on. And I don't think I've ever watched, I'm sure I've watched like bits and bobs here and there, but like I've never fully watched a series like that. It's really, like, it's a really, really good show. So now I've got like a whole new genre of stuff that i should watch because i know there are so many k-dramas that i've been missing out on that's what we're up to this morning and yeah hope you're doing good <laughs> On the sofa, I just felt really sick. I got my period today and I just felt shit. I didn't go to the library in the end, but I'm ready now. I'm going to get coffee with some of my friends, Rachel, Sophia and Darcy. This is the fit. I got this jumper in a charity shop like a couple days ago and what a good find. I think it was like 13 pounds. I really, really like it and I don't have any like cable knit jumpers. So Levi's, High Loose and these trainers are from Flamingo Life. They're like made of corn waste and stuff. So this is the bag that I'm using for the library at the moment. Really cool, it's from a brand called Before July and she makes everything and it's all sustainable. And look, it has my star sign. Pisces sun, Aquarius moon and Aquarius rising. Huge, so you can bring as much stuff of you as you want. So I'm gonna try to go to the library after as long as I don't feel too sick. And that's what we're up to now. Okay. <laughs> 